Missandei works with Tyrion, Grey Worm, and Varys to maintain the Queen's peace in the city. One day, whilst discussing Rhaegal and Viserion, and their lack of appetite following Daenerys's departure from Marine, Tyrion mentions that since they were used to Missandei's presence when they were younger and never once harmed her, they would probably be comfortable around her now, should they be freed. In response, Tyrion hopes that the reportedly intelligent nature of the dragons will win out when he visits them in catacombs. Whilst Varys is dealing with Valor, Tyrion attempts to engage Missandei and Grey Worm in conversation. Neither of them are very good at small talk, however, and both are bewildered by his behavior. When Tyrion tries to engage them in a drinking game, Missandei says that neither of them drink. When Varys finally enters and rescues them from the conversation, Masande cautions against immediate reprisals against Yunkai, Astapor, and Volantis, since they need their troops to protect Marine. Masande states the masters of Slaver's Bay only speak one, language, violence and war, and they must answer accordingly. In the end, Tyrion convinces Varys to use his network of little birds to open communications with the opposing city's leaders. Masande counsels Tyrion before and during his meeting with the envoys masters of the slave cities of Essos. Belicho Pinemian representing Volantis, Yezanzo Kagas representing Astapor and Razdal Moeras representing Yunkai, distressing Masande at the fact that Tyrion is seeking to approach them on more peaceful terms. When Tyrion states that he has experienced the horrors of slavery, Masande is insulted considering he only experienced slavery for a very short time in comparison to her time as one, she states he does not understand. During the meeting, Masande defends Daenerys's liberation of the slaves. She is shocked in response to Tyrion's compromise of a seven-year transition period, angered at the envoy's defense that slavery is the way their world works. Nevertheless, she reluctantly supports him in front of a delegation of former slaves led by Ash and Kesh, quoting Tyrion in order to convince them. In private, she and Grey Worm argue that no matter what, Tyrion will become a pawn of the masters, as that is their way, forever seeing those below them as objects to use to their benefit. Missandei, along with Grey Worm and Varys, are present when Tyrion announces that he has arranged a meeting with Kinvara, the high priestess of the Red Temple at Volantis. To convince the Myronese that everything is going befittingly with Daenerys's blessing, Tyrion secures an agreement with the Red Priestess to preach that Danny is the prince that was promised. Later, Missandei and Grey Worm exchange wine and jokes at the Great Pyramid. While reluctant to drink, Missandei and Grey Worm do so in honor of their queen. After Tyrion tells a joke about Westerosi lords in a bar, she tells a joke about two translators stranded at sea. While Tyrion feigns amusement, Grey Worm tells her that it was the worst joke he had ever heard. The three friends then celebrate Grey Worm's newfound ability to tell a joke. Shortly after, they hear the sound of bombardment. Looking out the ramparts, they find a massive fleet sent by Astapor, Yunkai, and Pentos bombarding the city with trebuchets. Masande remarks that the slave cities have returned for their property. By nightfall, Tyrion admits that his policy of diplomacy was a failure and allows Grey Worm to lead the city's defense. Shortly after, they hear movement on the roof and discover that Daenerys has returned by riding upon Drogon. The following day, Masande accompanies Grey Worm, Daenerys, and Tyrion during a meeting with representatives from the slaver cities who they met during the conference. In return for allowing Danny and Tyrion to leave unharmed, Rasdal demands the return of the Unsullied and Missande, whom he intends to sell as a slave to the highest bidder. However, Danny categorically rejects their offer and unleashes her dragons Drogon, Viserion, and Rhaegal on the slaver's fleet. The masters cower in fear as Missande informs them their queen asks for at least one of their lives as payment for their crimes. Grey Worm executes Belicho and Rasdal by slicing their throats who were quick to offer the death of the third slaver. Yezanzo Kagas is spared so that he can bring back word of Danny's power to the slave cities. When Daenerys finally sets sail to Westeros at the head of the combined Greyjoy, Martell, Myronese and Tyrell Armadas, complete with the three Targaryen dragons, Masande joins her and Tyrion on the deck of the flagship. She stands alongside Varys, looking determined to play her continuous loyal role in the next part of the Game of Thrones.